and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage from Pool, Tom Coleman. opponents from right here in Portsmouth, Brian Gentlemen, Shock and Doe present three two-minute rounds in an amateur kickboxing contest. Fought under 67 kilograms. And in the red corner with a record of one win and one defeat. Weighing in at 66.6 kilograms. Representing Ippon Jim from Pool, Tom Coleman. And his opponent fighting on the blue corner, making his debut. Weighing in at 66.7 kilograms. Representing Jim one from Whitecher in Portsmouth, Brian Heisex! Your referee in charge of action, Chris Bachelor. Referee Chris Bachelor about to get this one underway. Three two minute rounds if they need them of amateur K1 action. Dan Coleman in the black with gold trim and red kick pads. Brian Isaacs in the solid black with blue kick pads. Modified K1 rules here, so no elbows. One technique in the clinch, then break. And a fast start from both these young men, Colin. Yeah, Coleman looking to opt in for the uh, low leg kicks to start off. He has a little bit of height on Isaacs, so that's a, that's a good thing to do. Putting the combinations together already. Both men trying the mid-range kick to the body there. Coleman doing good work with the combination thus far. Isaac's looking like he's trying to just pick that one big shot. Yeah, Coleman's looking really confident in there at the moment by putting together the combos. Yeah, I think Isaacs could be a little bit lighter on his feet, a little bit heavier on his feet, absorbing far too many shots. A little bit of foot, footwork would help him here, I think. Nice kick to the body there from Coleman. 
Coleman's corner but asking him to finish with the head kick on the end of those combinations. Perhaps they're seeing an opening for the man there. Yeah, Isaac's the southpaw. Not really count countering as much as he could. Oh, he switched his stance now. Back to orthodox. Um, but yeah, he could counter a little bit more. He seems to just be absorbing the shots at the moment. And Dom Coleman has come into this one with a bit of a shiner under that right eye. So obviously been putting time in in the gym ahead of this one. Interesting first round there, Colin. Got to give it to Coleman on the scorecards. The combination punching just a little bit more plentiful. And some nice technique on display. No downs in that round, so you've got to believe he's taken that one 10-9 on the judges' scorecards. Isaac so it looks like he's maybe biding his time here and looking for that one big shot that's going to put his man down. Of course, you're going to get an immediate 10-8 with a down under these K1 rules, so the one big shot really can be a game changer. Yeah, it's hard to tell in the first round. You know, um, some fighters like to feel feel out their opponent and, and, and you know feel out the, the, the cage and the ring where they are. Uh, but yeah, I, I would agree with you on that. I think... Um, Coleman will probably come out doing more of the same. The low leg kicks worked good at the start and putting together the combinations, finding the middle of the cage and, and really going for it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what um, Isaac's coach is going to be saying and what he should do next, really. Well, something's going to have to change in this second and the third round if they make it that far. Tom Coleman, Brian Isaac, second round underway here at Shock and Awe 26. And already Coleman steaming in with the combination. 100 punch combo. Oh, big head kick. Partially blocked by Isaacs. Yeah, Isaacs needed to slow the action down a bit there. Coleman coming out like E Honda with the 100 hand slap. <laughs> Actually, E Honda's birthday today. A little bit of, uh, bit of trivia there for you. Wow. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. Shout out to my man Ben Cartledge on Twitter, One Credit Classics, <laughs> with that little tidbit earlier on. Oh, Isaac's coming through with some punches now, making the connections. He looks to be the, the slightly thicker set of the two. Perhaps looking for that one big fight ending shot. But he's going to have to do something quick here. Just two minute rounds in these amateur K1 contests. He's going to have to put Coleman on the seat of his pants. Both men with the leg kick cancelling each other out there. Isaacs takes a clean jab to the face. And again Coleman letting rip with these combinations. I don't know how much Coleman's got in the gas tank after that fast and furious start. Yeah, that's a good question. And for me, it looks like Isaacs is um, getting more confident as the fight goes on. He's coming forward more. He's putting more into his shots. He's having um, a bit more success with his, with his punching. So, yeah, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Coleman has maybe spent a little bit of his gas tank there. Look for the spinning back kick to the body there. Didn't land clean enough. And again, Coleman unleashing, not landing as clean as he was at the beginning of the round. Takes a jab from Isaacs. Two-piece combination to end the round. Another big round for Dom Coleman, though. Yeah, big round. Yeah, it came through. Uh, this third round is going to be really interesting now because, uh, as I say, Isaacs looks like he's, he's really getting his confidence. Um, he's coming forward and, uh, you know, he, he's putting together some good shots now as well. Be interesting to see what's going to happen in this third round. Um, so we only have a few minutes left to find out. Yeah, two minutes separating one of these men from victory. Dom Coleman, you have to believe, ahead on the scorecards. But as we said, Isaac's looking like he might be a late bloomer in this one. And what a disheartening situation it would be for Coleman if he ends up getting dropped a couple of times in this third and final round. I'm losing a decision here. Yeah. But it's, it's, got to, it's down to Isaacs. He's got to pull the trigger at some point, Colin. That's it. And the thing is, with, with the, the K1 refereeing, it is slightly different. I mean, 
you know, it's about the clean shots. It's about the ones that get through. Um, you know, so it's slightly different. So. Um, the, the flurries that Coleman is throwing are good, but he, do, he does need to make more connection to, to impress the, uh, the judges. Now we hear the corner of Coleman telling him to go out and dominate this round. They certainly don't want their man cruising in this third and final frame. Oh, it's a knockout! Unbelievable! Out of nowhere, wow. Right high kick! And Brian Isaacs out cold in the third round. Wow. I mean, he just dropped his hands for a split second. He, he just got his head taken off. You know, one thing that we saw from Dan Coleman throughout the first two rounds was the speed of the striking. You cannot take a second off against a guy that fast because while he might be throwing volume shots, Instead of power punches, when that big leg kick comes up, it's not one you want to take on the chin. And speed kills, man. You know, it, 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 it came up really, we see in the replay here, he came up really fast with that, with that kick and straight into the face. It was, it was good timing there from Coleman because, he, you know, he, just, as, um, just as Isaacs was about to throw something, he, he threw the shot and, and it connected clean. We see again in the replay clean on the jawline and you know I just didn't even drop his hand that much he was just moving forward to to throw something straight over the guard I mean, it really is a game of, of inches at that point definitely they, he, I mean, he didn't really do anything wrong there he was about to throw something and he just got beaten to the strike you know um, but yeah great kick great kick from Coleman yeah Don Coleman's limping now and I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure I blame him going to feel that one in the morning but yeah what a performance from the young man from Ippon Jim came out with some uh, you know, great flurries in the first round and, and really showed his striking speed and then a big knockout to end it German referee Chris Bachelor calls us to stop the contest at 16 seconds of round number three. For your winner by knockout, Don Coleman! And let's hear for your runner-up, Brian Isaacs.